I actually had a good sleep. The beds are comfortable in the Airbnb. Shana and Makai took the elevator. Oh, they're already down there. So we're just gonna head out now and try and find somewhere to have some breakfast. There's a couple different options if hopefully they're open this morning. So we found a place that's open. We're gonna have breakfast here at Surfbox. Uh, Blaine had recommended this place too, so we're gonna see uh, what they have for breakfast. It's a breakfast and lunch place. It's just before the turn off to Playa Potrero. We are looking for it, like on the main strip, uh, the paved strip in Flamingo. So yeah, we're gonna head in and see what they have. Fancy uh, orange juice here, you even get a Hugo strawberry on it. Looks like a cocktail. How do you say yeah. it in Spanish? Hugo de naranja. naranja. Amiga, is that cafe con leche? Dos. Gracias. We forgot our coffee. <laughs> Can't start the morning without Costa Rican coffee. So Shana got the Mediterranean breakfast, which has... Uh, of course I did. Of course she did. <laughs> has hummus, why wouldn't she get it? Uh, so pita hummus, uh, Israeli salad, is it? Yep, it's, really, it's almost like a Greek salad. A couple eggs, so it looks really good. And lots of food. And then Jade and I got the Montreal bagel. That's got... <laughs> Nostril shot. It's got uh, egg. Uh, it's supposed to have bacon, but it has ham this time. Uh, onion, avocado, and tomato. So it looks really good. So good. Yeah. It is. The bagel is nice and soft. Onion's good on there. Yeah. Definitely recommend getting the bagel when you come. All right. So the coffee's come now. We didn't bring, we didn't have coffee at the uh, Airbnb, which we're gonna get, so we can just make it there. But if you haven't had Costa Rican coffee yet, you don't know what you're missing. All right. So they also have this little inside area that's air conditioned as well. So if you don't feel like sitting out in the humidity, they do have this option. They got skateboards on the wall, so it's got an A plus in my books. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we just finished up breakfast here at Surfbox. Definitely a good place to come for breakfast uh, if you're in the area. Uh, the bagel was awesome and it wasn't too filling, which was nice. So yeah, we're gonna head over to Potrero now in the daylight, see what it's like over there, wander around, um, hang out at the beach. Uh, it's kind of sunny, a little bit of blue sky. There's a storm hitting uh, Nicaragua right now, and unfortunately, <laughs> we're getting the after effects of that on the side, like some rain and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna wander over there, uh, do a little raw walkthrough video, which I'll do as a separate video, and then uh, check out, hopefully the brewery's open, there's a brewery there, but yeah, we're gonna head there now. So yeah, because a lot of the places aren't open, we're just gonna drive around uh, the area, see what it's like. So we're in like the actual Potrero town area, if you look on the map. I'll put on the map where I am right now. The little strip mall behind us, there's like a pet store, restaurants, things like that. And then there's a soccer field over there, which I'll show you. But yeah, this is kind of probably where all the locals live and probably the expats that wanna live like locals. So that's yeah, cool little area over here. It's more uh, quaint. It's not like a busy street of like restaurants and kind of touristy stuff. Actually has a really good feel over here. Right, so we just stopped here at Playa Penca, which is on the other side of uh, the main tourist part of Potrero or Potrero Bay. There's a peninsula, which you can see here. So on the other side is Potrero. Um, yeah, it's really nice sand. It's super white, soft. Um, waves don't look too bad right now, but it is uh, low tide. It, the beach is on a, quite an angle, so I can see how it would probably get deep quick. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice little beach here. Um, the road was a little rough coming in. We bottomed out, which sucks, but that's just the roads right now after rainy season. And you can see Flamingo off in the distance, which 
is uh, well, the, this area here, this little peninsula. So that's where all the hotels of Flamingo are up on the hill. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here for a bit. And uh, it's actually sunny, so we're gonna take in some of the sun right now and get the drone up as well. So I just flew the drone 470 meters above that island. I'll put the photo in here. But yeah, it was <laughs> highest I've ever had it. As you can see behind us, there's storm clouds rolling in. So we're probably gonna head out here soon, take a few photos. It's cool, they got like the cactus growing up here. I don't know if you can pick it up like, a little bit. But uh, it's just crazy all the different like flora fauna they have in Costa Rica, from cactuses to palm trees to bougainvillea, plumerias, all sorts of cool things. So yeah, gonna take a few photos now and then we're gonna head back into the main uh, tourist part of Potrero, Playa Potrero, and uh, maybe go find somewhere to hang out while it rains. So we're back at Coco Loco. <laughs> There's nothing really opening over in Potrero, so we had to come back here. We've been driving around trying to find another place to go, but they're like the only place that's open. No, it's fine, you can order. I'll get a Coco Loco. <laughs> it was good yesterday, so I'll get another Coco Loco. Uh, so yeah, they're like the only place that's open right now. It is the end of low season when we've come, so it's, uh, you know, it's not as busy as it normally would be come like December, January with normal tourists and things like that. But Samra, we have a lot more places on the beach. Even right now, like most of the restaurants are open in Samra and here there's nothing. We're gonna have a drink here and uh, maybe something to eat. And now I'm gonna get the drone up.
now. I uh, just finished having a lunch or snack at Coco Loco. I had the coconut shrimp. It was really good. It had a good dipping sauce. And then Shana had uh, a beef tenderloin skewers uh, that had like a Cajun sauce. It was, that was good too. Uh, just something light for the afternoon. Uh, it's starting to rain now. The uh, storm that's gonna hit uh, Nicaragua, we're getting like the outside of it. So we're gonna have like stronger winds, more rain. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hit too bad. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out and see it's getting cloudy all over and the rain's starting. But yeah, it's a good time to relax, I guess, and get, uh, and get back here. And yeah, hopefully uh, it's okay later so we can go find another place to have dinner. Again, not a lot's open in the area. So something. Okay, what are you getting? What are you having? What are you having? Can you order from the man? What you're having? Hamburger. <laughs> Which kind of hamburger? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Hamburger. Okay, what's it called? Which one? The hangover <laughs> burger? <laughs> are you having a hangover burger? Did you have too much Ron? Did you drink too much Ron last night? <laughs> <laughs> mucho, mucho cerveza? Mucho cerveza. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> Alright, so I ordered the mango burger and Shayna asked the server, is it made out of real flamingo? <laughs> I, and if it's pink? And she asked if it was rosé. <laughs> so yeah, we eat flamingos and there's raccoons in the restaurant and then Lakai's having a hangover burger. It's kind of a crazy night here. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh wait, actually I might get the chips and salsa with your burger. Oh yeah, I'll have rice. So we're sitting here and all the, there's like a couple raccoons that keep walking through the restaurant up here. Keep jumping on the roof. And then we keep seeing them down by the pool too. People are like shooing them away like they're just mosquitoes. Hi. He wants to fight. They're crazy. They're so tame. That was a hangover burger. <laughs> All right, so yes, we are back home now. Uh, we had dinner at five o'clock somewhere that night with the raccoons. Um, unfortunately, we only got to film two out of the five days we were in the area just because of the storm that came through. So the next day after the video you just saw or the part of the video you just saw we just stayed home we made breakfast at the airbnb and uh had pizza for dinner had pizza for the dinner watched watch the election <laughs> yeah. sat on the deck and, and watched the storm yeah so we did that and then the the next day we actually tried to go to Las Catalinas, uh, but we found out you actually have to stay there in order to go into uh, the town. And, so and to use the restaurant and stuff yeah. too, you have to actually be a guest. Yeah, you can go to the beach because all beaches are allowed uh, to be visited by everyone. It's part of the Costa Rican law. So you can go to the beach, you just can't go to the restaurant. And it was closed anyway, so we are going to plan doing a trip. Yeah, we'll go. We'll yeah. go and actually be a guest there and stay. It looks like a really cool area. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, good photos that come out of that place. It looks really neat. So, uh, But the guy was super apologetic too. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry you guys can't come. So It wasn't his fault. <laughs> no, we was telling him it's not your fault, it's just the rules. So yeah, we did that. And then we went to... Um, was it Braz Brazilito? Mm -hmm. That's the other place, yeah. The next day, and it was raining still, and we went there to find uh, lunch, and we ended up eating at a really good place there. Um, Patagonia? Yeah, it was it Patagonia. It was a little more expensive. It was, probably, it was more, our most expensive meal. Yeah, but it was good. It had such a good yeah. variety on the menu. It's really good. It's definitely a must try there. It's kind of the only nicer restaurant in that area because it's a small, little small town. But, mm -hmm. but Brazilito, we felt was the best out of that whole area. It had more of a, like a community feel. Uh, the it ocean was more was right typical there. Costa Rican. Yeah. Whereas Flamingo was a little bit more Americanized, touristy, even though it was quiet when we were there, but. Mm. Yeah, and it wasn't really a, t a town hub in Flamingo. Um, Potrero, once you get out of like the main strip of the uh, tourist area, which you just saw in the video, um, you go to the, the actual little town there, then it has more of a community feel there. But yeah, it's, it's crazy, like we just, uh, go to all these different places in Costa Rica and compare to Samra and Samra just kind of has it all like when you compare to yeah. the different places there's a big difference yeah you have the town here you have the locals you get to hang out with plus I mean like I said in the video uh, all of our restaurants are open like there there was like just on the weekend maybe so a few of them, limited but... and places that we had heard that were good or we had read online like really good reviews and stuff we'd be like oh we're gonna go there and then 
closed. Yeah, and <laughs> drove for, around, closed, yeah. closed, closed. And like the steak place was, it looked like it was closed down for good. Yeah, it wasn't just because of low season. A lot of places were for sale, or yeah, just probably because of the down. pandemic thing, uh, kind of put them under. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's it's a nice place to visit. Um, I it's, wouldn't live there. No, it's it's more like retirement and resort type living. Like everything's up on the hill, so you're guaranteed wherever you are staying, or if you buy a condo there, you have an ocean view, which is nice. Yeah. Um, big patios and stuff to overlook the view of course um, but and then just that little strip on the along the water yeah that main little strip with yeah. the Margaritaville and and Coco Loco, Coco Loco that was it there's nothing which else is the best place I mean obviously a lot of people must bring lunches it's or like else. it's more for like kind of like condo resort type living and the beach which yeah. is fine but there wasn't like a little shopping area or like tourist shops no, or anything no like that that we saw or... Or like that. not that we were looking for souvenirs but you think if yeah. people coming in you'd want to have those that available it just had a different, though. different layout totally Brazzalito different layout had, had, had all that stuff so um, and not the greatest roads <laughs> no they were they were <laughs> roads crazy. Are, we were surprised because a lot of people talk about playa flamingo and going mm -hmm. there and stuff like that and it's a great place which yes it has its its nice spots and yeah. stuff like that but the roads were terrible even in dry season and I'm sure when they grade it, um, it's better, but it's still going to be very dusty because it's just all dirt. Yeah, like when you go up to up the hill through the up to where we were staying, it was that was a terrible road up there. But I mean, they did have the paved strip, and then the beachfront was very, very potholy. Yeah, it was. We were kind of shocked, but yeah, we were shocked. But yeah, it was good to go in the area. Definitely worth checking out. Um, again, we're going to go to Las Catalinas uh, sometime. Uh, we'll book a stay there, maybe with some friends. It isn't the cheapest place to stay, so we got to save up a bit to go there. And uh, we definitely want to go to Brazalito again, or uh, at least for the day or something maybe we're gonna go to tamarindo and then uh, apparently they'll take you over to playa conchal which is the play the playa that or the beach that's made of seashells so we apparently don't want to covered in shells yeah we really wanted to go this time but unfortunately the weather uh wasn't cooperating so we didn't get to but yeah that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh hope you enjoyed the four videos we did uh in those two days uh, if you did leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we couple new videos again we do have our patreon so if you do like watching these videos patreon helps us in uh making these videos and able to travel and show you these different areas and uh, and do recommendations for restaurants and stuff so when you're in the area you're not stuck guessing so yeah the link for patreon is below if you can help us out that's great there's also uh merchandise you can get if you sign up for certain ones so yeah we'll leave the video off here and we'll see you in the next one ciao ciao I've got to tell you now